English 113, Grammar 1, Chapter 10, Expressing Future Time, Part 1, PowerPoint 1. The Learning Objectives By the end of this chapter, you will be able to Form and use future time with be going to Use a couple of or a few with a go, past and in future Use today, tonight, and this plus morning or afternoon, evening or week or month or year. Form and use future time with will. The simple future tense, be going to plus the base form, affirmative statements and contractions. Use am going to plus the base form with the personal pronoun I. I am going to stay home this evening. The contraction, I'm going to stay home this evening. Use are going to plus base form with the personal pronouns you, we, or they, or with the plural form of nouns. Examples. You are going to stay home this evening. The contraction, you are going to stay home this evening. Example. We are going to stay home this evening. The contraction, we are going to stay home this evening. The Example. They are going to stay home this evening. The contraction, they are going to stay home this evening. The simple future tense, be going to, plus base form. Affirmative statements and contractions. Use is going to plus the base form with the personal pronouns he, she, or it, or with the singular form of nouns. Examples. He is going to stay home this evening. The contraction. He's going to stay home this evening. She is going to stay home this evening. The contraction. She's going to stay home this evening. It is going to rain this evening. The contraction. It's going to rain this evening. The simple future tense. Be going to plus base form. Negative statements and contractions. Use am not going to plus base form with the personal pronoun I. I am not going to stay home this evening. The contraction. I'm not going to stay home this evening. Use are not going to plus the base form with the personal pronouns you, we, or they. Or with the plural form of nouns. You are not going to stay home this evening. The contraction, you aren't going to stay home this evening. We are not going to stay home this evening. The contraction, we aren't going to stay home this evening. They are not going to stay home this evening. The contraction, they aren't going to stay home this evening. The simple future tense, be going to plus base form, negative statements and contractions. Use is not going to plus the base form with the personal pronouns, he, she, or it, or with the singular form of nouns. Examples. He is not going to stay home this evening. The contraction, he isn't going to stay home this evening. She is not going to stay home this evening. The contraction, she isn't going to stay home this evening. It is not going to rain this evening. The contraction, it isn't going to rain this evening. The simple future tense, yes or no questions. Begin your yes or no question with am with the personal pronoun I. Example, am I going to have a new laptop? The answer, yes you are, no you're not. I is the personal pronoun. Remember that. Begin your yes or no question with is with the personal pronouns he, she, or it, or with the singular form of nouns. Is he going to have a new laptop? Yes, he is. No, he's not. Is she going to have a new laptop? Yes, she is. No, she's not. Is it going to rain? Yes, it is. No, it's not. Begin your yes or no questions with are, with personal pronouns you, we, or they, or with the plural form of nouns. Examples. Are you going to have a new laptop? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Are we going to have a new laptop? Yes, you are. No, you're not. Are they going to have a new laptop? Yes, they are. No, they're not. The simple future tense. WH questions. Begin your WH question with a question word. What, where, when, who, why, how, what time. Then use the same word order as in yes or no questions. Tomorrow is a holiday. What are you going to do? This is a question word. I'm going to play football with my friends. 
Where is he going to meet us? He's going to meet us at the airport. The simple future tense, use. Use be going to plus the base form to talk about what you have already decided or arranged to do. I'm going to walk to work from now on. It's healthier. What time are you going to meet Ahmad this evening? She's going to clean her room. Tomorrow is a holiday. I'm going to play football with my friends. Words used for past time and future time. Past, yesterday. Yesterday morning, yesterday. Afternoon, yesterday evening, last night. Last week, last month, last year, last weekend. Minutes ago, hours ago, months ago. The future, tomorrow, tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, next week, next month, next year, next weekend. In five minutes from now, in two hours from now, in three months from now. The examples of the past, it rained yesterday, the future, it's going to rain tomorrow. The past, I was in class yesterday morning, the future, I'm going to be in class tomorrow morning. Past. Mary went downtown last week. Future. Mary is going to go downtown next week. Past. I finished my homework five minutes ago. The future. Pablo is going to finish his homework in five minutes. Using a couple of or a few with a go and in. A couple of means two. Past. I saw Carlos a couple of months ago. Future, he's going to return to Mexico in a couple of months. A few means a small number, three, four, or five. Past, I got a letter from Gina a few weeks ago. Future, I'm going to see Gina in a few weeks. Using today, tonight, and this plus morning, or afternoon, evening, or week, or month, or year. These words, today, tonight, this morning, this afternoon, this evening, this week, this month, this year can express present, past, or future time. Right now, it's 10 a.m. We are in our English class. Present. We are studying English this morning. Right now, it's 10 a.m. Nancy left home at 9 a.m. to go downtown. She isn't home right now. Past. Nancy went downtown this morning. Right now, it's 10 a.m. Class ends at 11 a.m. After class today, I'm going to go to the post office. Future, I'm going to go to the post office this morning. End of part one. PowerPoint one.